How you doing? Good morning. Uh, week four of Outdoor 2020, John. We're in a beautiful place, a little muddy today, called uh, Jaredstown, West Virginia. And what we're doing out here today is we're getting our boots muddy, doing something that uh, we really love doing and really enjoy. And it's spending a day on a shooting range. Uh, the tall guy over there is my son, John. All right, gonna walk you through the guns that we'll be shooting today. The first you see here is a nine millimeter Smith & Wesson uh, m and um, Great gun, uh, holds about 13 rounds, not about, it does. The next is a 45 caliber uh, Thompson Arm 1911. Uh, actually kind of cool, if you can see it there, uh, it's made in my hometown. Uh, Worcester Mass, so that's kind of cool. And the last is a 357 uh, Taurus uh, About to see a little healthy father-son competition. We're going to start out at about 20 feet away from these steel plates back down here. See what Jonathan can do with his uh, 45 and what I can do with 9mm. We'll see who gets bragging rights. So we did our first competition from 20 feet away, clearly, uh, from a few minutes. So clearly I think I dominated that aspect of it. Now we're moving out to 25 feet. All right, let's see how we did up close. I was using the 357 for some headshots here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, kind of graze this guy a lot. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so that was the... Uh, Six shots from the uh, nine millimeter. Let's see how we did. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd say that's pretty consistent. All right, now we're gonna move to the scenario shooting part of our program today. The weather's really turned kind of foul down here. <laughs> Stuff blowing all over the place. But Jonathan's gonna go into a stance and shoot against these two targets. The guy in the yellow and this circle thing over not there. These, not these, not these things guys. that are now floating. Um, and we'll let him uh, shoot off a couple rounds in two different directions and see how that goes. Are you good? Yep. Okay. Uh, clearly not a great... Do it again. Do yeah, it let's again. do that one again. <laughs> All right. The, uh, the weather's turned a little foul up here in West Virginia today, so we're going to get right to the chase on this thing. And we're, we're going to go into a little bit of a scenario shoot. Uh, Jonathan's going to uh, see himself in a pin down situation where he's got uh, two different uh, folks, one in yellow and one in a circle that you'll see when I turn this camera around. And uh, let's see how he does again. From that uh, headshot there, Jonathan waxed this guy, and I think you heard in the video that he also did pretty well against the um, the uh, circle metal thing over there. So that's it. Scenario planning's over for the day.
you doing? I uh, want to talk a little bit today about the issue of focus. Uh, that's kind of the, the topic that's on my mind as we uh, were out on the range today. And I think about focus when I'm out on the range a lot because it's one of the few things that we do that really requires all of your energy honed in on what you're out there to do. So there's, you know, you've got to have make sure your ear uh, protection is good. You make sure your eye protection is good. You got to make sure the people who you're with are, uh, you know, safely behind the, the right shooting zones. You got to make sure that you're uh, thinking of all the equipment, all the, the weapons, all the uh, firing that's going on, uh, you know, appropriately so that everyone has a safe and fun day. Um, and that's just one element of the focus that you have to do. Then the other element of the focus that you have to do is you actually have to try to hit the target that you're shooting at. So you got to make sure that you're looking through the, the sights the right way, you're acquiring the target the right way, that your um, your trigger pull is accurate, you're not turning your wrist at all in a way that um, you know deviates the, the bullet from where it's trying to go. Um, you got to make sure that all those very tactical things are being done while some of these larger um, you know focused things are being ad addressed as well. And when I'm thinking about that when I'm out on the range, I think about that in our everyday life. So when you're trying to get something done at work or you're trying to make sure that you're focused on a, a member of your family or someone you're in a relationship with um, or the like or your, or your exercise regimen or your health or things of that nature, you, you're dealing with a lot of external things. Can I get to the gym? Do I have time to do it? Um, did I, you know, do I have the right gear with me? Do I, you know, when I'm out to dinner with someone, am I listening to them or am I, li you know, looking at my phone every two seconds? So you've got these kind of like meta or macro focus issues that you've got to deal with. And then you've got to deal with the very specific focus issues of what you're, it is that you're actually trying to achieve. So if I'm working on a project at, at work or if I'm working on a, a, you know, something at home or something on the outdoors, I've got to not only get rid of the distractions that are these larger macro distractions, but I also got to then hone my craft and hone my skills specifically on what it is that I'm trying to achieve. In this case, it's, you know, putting bullets on the target that I'm looking to do. So I'm, that's what I was thinking about today was how do you make sure that you can kind of address these macro level uh, issues of focus in your life as well as these micro level uh, issues of focus in your life. And what I find, um, the macro ones you just kind of got to work on. I want to achieve this certain thing by a certain date. Uh, I got to keep all the other distractions at bay. I got to, you know, make sure I get to the gym or make sure I, you know, do the workouts that I'm looking to do or make sure that I work on the projects that I'm supposed to work on and the like. Um, and at the micro level, that's where, really where the hard work comes in, which is how do I get really good um, at what it is that I'm trying to achieve? No one wants a, a person out on the range who can get this close to the target, right? They want the people who can get right on the target. So even if you're able to get rid of those macro level distractions, if you're not fundamentally very skilled at the detailed thing, thing that you're trying to accomplish, and that's where that micro focus comes in, you're really probably not going to meet your, your um, you know, ulterior or long-term goals. So um, the macro stuff's easy. Get rid of it. Keep, it. keep those distractions away from you. Make sure that, uh, you know, you're focused on the craft, but then specifically get very good practice, rep, um, learning, teaching yourself. How do I get better and better at this, um, at this uh, task in front of me so that I am specifically very on target with what I'm trying to do and I'm able to, you know, prove my skill set. Uh, in a way that's uh, differentiated from, from the rest of the folks out there. So that's what I was thinking about today when I was on the range, um, you know, getting myself focused down on the specific details of what I'm trying to get good at in all aspects of life um, and, you know, practicing them, honing those skills uh, so that you can kind of become the best in the business. That's it.